housewares. He sold paint. And um, when I was in middle school, the boys were all gone by then. And it was just my mother, my daddy, and me. And my daddy had a massive heart attack. Now, he pulled through, but he couldn't work for a long, long time. And even now, I remember the day that we lost the family station wagon. I remember how my mother used to tuck me in at night, and she'd give me a kiss on the forehead and pat my blankets, pull them up. And then she walked to the door, and I always knew what was coming next. She'd give me this big smile, and she'd walk outside the door and close it and start to cry. She never wanted to cry in front of me. Um, this was the time in my life when I learned words like mortgage and foreclosure. And one day I walked into my folks' bedroom and laid out on the bed was the dress. Now some of you in here will know the dress. It's the one that only comes out for weddings, funerals, and graduations. And there is the dress laid out, and there's my mother down at the foot of the bed. Uh, she's in her slip and her stocking feet. She's got her head down, and she's pacing. And she's saying, we will not lose this house. We will not lose this house. We will not lose this house. She was 50 years old. She had never worked outside the home. And she was terrified. And she looked up and saw me standing in the doorway. I'm just a kid. And she looked at me, didn't say a word, looked at that dress, looked back at me, wiped her face, walked over, picked up that dress and pulled it on, put on her high heels, and walked to the Sears and got a full-time minimum wage job answering phones. That minimum wage job saved our house, and it saved our family. And for many years, I thought of this as the first lesson my mother taught me, and that is, no matter how scared you are, and no matter how hard it looks, when it comes down to it, you reach down deep, you find what you have to find, you pull it up, and you take care of the people you love. That's who we are.